trainer, Eric Albaracin. If you have a question for Patricio, press the raise hand button now. We'll get started here with Jim Barcelona. Jimmy hey, Lanzo. guys, I'm just curious, what are your thoughts of this exciting day and being a part of this whole big event, being on Showtime and just kicking this thing off for 2021 after a tough 2020? Eu sou o Spetsmento de agora tá no Showtime e iniciando o estreando estreando no Showtime 2021. I like that we can put Bellator in this TV so and also we can do a box match. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for that too. Maybe Adrian Broner. I hear he's a Showtime athlete. Yeah, I can be that motherfucker. There you go. <laughs> There you go, Jim Barcelona. <laughs> yes, Mr. Eric. I got one more question for you guys. So, Patricio, how do you like that jacket Eric has? Coach Eric has. Do you want him to get you one of those? <laughs> I love it. I love his style. He ah. gains a lot of attention. So, I like this. I do it to take the pressure off the fighters so they can concentrate on decapitating their opponents. <laughs> and look good. You do a good job of that. All the best, man. Thank you both. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Jim. We'll go to Tony Corby. We got the island here, Eli. How's it going, guys? I can hear what you're saying, Eric. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, speaking of that, obviously your last fight uh, against an SPG guy. There was a big rivalry there. You and Emmanuel, much more respectful of each other he told us he's not going to try to antagonize you like uh like pedro did uh talk to me about the the respect that you have for emmanuel as a competitor yeah pedro is a young young man but uh he got a loss now he he's gonna uh make himself a better fight and a better person i know he's a good boy so I'm on the chance, chances that I already fought him and I know and he knows it was a war. So that's why we have respect to each other. Eric, a lot of people consider you to be the best coach in MMA. Uh, you, I also am hearing Patricio's English. Uh, it sounds like you might be the best uh, teacher in MMA as well. Uh, how, how are you finding, obviously, Paolo Costa as well? Great English speaker now. Uh, do, do you feel like it helps you bond with your fighters uh, also getting involved in, in teaching them the language? Yes, for sure. I feel, I tell these guys all the time that speaking different languages is like a superpower. And um, even for the Korean zombie, I was speaking Korean. If my fight is from Russian, I'm going to speak Russian. So uh, I think it's important to learn the language of not only your fighters, but sometimes even even the other, uh, your adversaries. So I'm definitely picking up on some more languages. So you're going to learn some Irish. I'm going to learn some Gaelic. <laughs> Correct. All right, we'll move along here to Kevin Varghese. Hey, Patricio, Eric, thanks for your time again. Uh, obviously, Eric's, uh, you know, channeling his inner Paul Heyman. And, uh, you know, being the heel manager, per se, with the outlandish uh, uh, coat and everything. But a uh, quick question for Patricia. You obviously saw Max Holloway's performance and uh, a former foe of yours, Michael Chandler and everything. You know, obviously, you're calling for the super fights. You're calling for uh, Max Holloway. Like, after seeing Max Holloway's performance, like, you know, comparing yourself to him, like, do you think it's, uh, it's going to be a banger of a fight? Or do you think, you know, Max Holloway is a problem? Se você lutava Max Holloway, tipo, você tá pedindo para super fights agora, um, se você lutava ela, vai ser uma briga ou um, uma luta? Como vai ser essa luta? Um, I, I know his stuff, I know his good, I know his entire career, he, he's, a, he's a great fight, but I know him better. I know Bellator is the A-League, so if they want to prove I'm wrong, let's put uh, may I guess match fight and see who is the best featherweight on the world. All right. Well, with that being said, you know, uh, your brother, uh, you know, obviously he was supposed to fight last year and, 
unfortunately he wasn't feeling well, so he had to pull out. Are there any plans for your brother to fight in the upcoming uh, 2021 season? Uh, he's ready. He's, he's already training. He's better now. He's, he's take care of himself and just waiting for uh, a fight. Yeah, he's gonna fight against Peter Quilly, I believe. All right. Yeah, he's fight. He's fighting against uh, against uh, Peter Quilly. He's planning on um, invading SBG and taking one of their top, top their top guys out. All right. Well, one, two and no Pitbull Brothers versus two and no Pitbull Brothers versus SBG. Of course. Just one last question for you, Eric. Uh, you know, after seeing all your fighters, how they did, how much well do you enjoy being a uh, like a translator manager for your fighters? Well, as a, uh, I'm not a manager. I'm, I'm their coach. They call me captain. I wear a lot of hats, but all of it is to just to make sure that they get to achieve their dreams and. the uh, that's uh that's what we've been doing, you know. In the beginning, it was to get a world title, and then we wanted two champ champ status, and we got that uh, with Henry and Patricio. And now we're looking even for to go even higher and go for a, a third title here in Bellator, and and you know, same with Henry becoming C four and going up a weight class over there in the UFC. So I mean, that's uh we all have the same dreams, and it's my job to uh wear as many hats as I need to, to help these guys accomplish their dreams. We'll go to Dylan for the next question. Hi there, Patricio. I'm kind of curious because the name Adrian Broner was mentioned earlier. What with the Showtime crossover and everything, does Patricio have aspirations for just these unique, I guess, kind of one-off fights or are there greater aspirations to perhaps contend for a boxing title? Was it then? Esperanza is para lutar. Tipo, só um, 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 luta de boxe. Você tem que um título mundial de boxe. Você tá, quais são seus pensamentos? Uh, I like challenges. If in boxing have someone who is good, I, I want to fight him. I don't care about the titles. I care about the challenger. I put myself in the, in the dangerous and take over of that. We he wants to dominate them put himself in a in a challenging position and dominate okay we'll go Showtime, to uh, Abdul Patel Eric you're looking like a bear speaking of speaking of bears um We've recently heard that um, Khabib um, is going to move on without the title, um, without the division. Um, he's going to officially retire. Um, Patricia, I know this is kind of like a fantasy matchup and you being a lightweight champion. How do you think that fight would have panned out? See, we're still down with Khabib. Khabib is coming like that. That's how we're down. Everyone knows he's a fucking monster. He's bigger than me. Has more. Maybe he has more power than me. His takedowns. Uh, but I, I know he's not complete. He has a lot of things that he's not good, and I can and I can Ex exploit them. Uh, uh, sorry. Exploit them. Exploit them. Yes. So I believe in myself. So I think I, I'm. I can win this fight. I will right, we'll go to Chris Santiago. Hi guys, how's how's it going? Uh, good, so my good. good? Uh, my question is, who's the better dress out of you guys and Henry Cejudo? Who's the better one? Can best in the Lord the agency con Cejudo. Can you best right The captain. Yes. <laughs> Nice. And, uh, you know, with the million dollar prize on the line, you know, uh, what are you going to do with that million dollar uh, prize? I'm not thinking about the money. Just think about my dream. So I don't know. Let's let's get the picture. That's it. That's the most important in my life. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you very much, Patricio. Appreciate your time. And thank you to all the media for joining us today.
We'll have these videos up on the Bellator PR YouTube page shortly. Bottle for the new.